All right, guys, down here about five inches or so, let's pop this dude out. Buffalo with a hole in it. Nope. Got a hole in it. I think it's going to have a date on it too. It looks like 1915. See it? Look, that's what it is. 1915 Buffalo. Woohoo! We'll take that any day. Alright, alright. Yeah, second dig. 1915 Buff. That's an old one. That's a good one. Alright, let's go on. Alright guys, I want to show you where we're hunting at today. Jeff and I are hunting this big unit right here. Huge yard. Bunch of big cedar trees. And uh, just awesome. Anyway, my first target here is this old buckle. Don't know how old it is. House is built around 1900. We'll take that and go on though. I'm happy to have that. Pretty cool old buckle. Let me get it in the shade and show you. All right, so let's go on. Stay tuned. Jeff's over. He just dug a compact. He's got his new shirts up, so let's go on. All right, guys, down there in the hole. I see it. You see it? Let's see what it is together. Up oh, the wheat penny. All right. Get a date off of it. He's down pretty deep, about five inches. 1910. Well, that's almost Indian. Let's see if we can get one. You guys, check this out. Jeff just come across this coin purse right here. There's a piece of leather right there. Oh, yeah. There's more yeah. leather right there. You guys see that? Okay, I threw something up, whatever it is. But that more purse might be more part to the coin purse. Wow, there's seven Indians. There's more. Good kind of silvers. I'm not seeing any silvers. Boy, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Oh yeah. Something down in here. There's something right there, I seen it. Right there. Oh, there we go. Nope, oh, that's oh. just more leather. More leather. Hopefully I'm getting this one. Let me move my shovel out of the way. That's more to the coin, coin purse, purse right there, guys. Maybe more. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right here. Wow. Tell guys, that might be it. Wow, that's Let's awesome. Move the dude. leather here. One of the best spills I've ever gotten into. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven Indians, a V nickel, and a wheat penny, or two wheat pennies. Is that right? Wow. That's, that's awesome. a wheat penny. So two wheats. Now one wheat. Where's the other wheat? That's the only wheat penny. One, two. Is that a wheat? Yeah, that's a wheat. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six Indians. No, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six Indians, two wheat pennies, and one V nickel. What an awesome what spill. An incredible spill right there, guys. That's super, super, man. Wow, wow, wow. I'll post the date so you guys can see what they are, but holy smokes, what a spill. What a spill. Good job, buddy. Thank awesome, you. awesome. Hey guys, I just pulled this out. Looks like what's left of an old pocket knife. Just a couple of ends and pieces left. The inside part's already deteriorated. That's cool. Alright, well, let's go on. Hey guys, I just popped up this pocket knife. Looks like it's going to be a pocket knife kind of day. It's number two for me. Alright, that one's open. Let's see if we can get a good coin here. Let's go on. Hey guys. Well, I'm having a tough time of it. I ain't found a whole lot. Uh, a couple coins so far. I 
I'll just pop this out though. It's kind of cool. If you can see it, it's a little bitty copper four leaf clover, it looks like. It's kind of neat. Hope it brings me some luck. I want to hang on to it. My lucky clover. Alright, let's go on. Hey guys, we're in a new spot now. And I just popped this out. 1940 wheat. We'll take it. I dinged it a little bit. Oh well. Good one. Let's go on. Hey guys, we're in a new spot now. Built 1905. Check it out. This got started here. It's got one of the old 1940s fences over here. It's got a wrought iron fence in front. I have not found one of these in a long time. That's a Chinese coin. That is the oldest one today for sure. Probably from the 16, 1700s. Hard to date them though. They got a hole in them. You know what the hole was for? They didn't have pockets and they hung them around their neck. But that's an old Chinese coin there. That's a really good find. Alright, I'm happy with that. Mosquitoes are bad here, but let's go on. Hey guys, they got me a princess compact here. That's pretty cool. I love digging these. They come up so good. Alright, well, let's get another one. I found the Indian a while ago, so. Did you? What year is it? It is a... 1941. Cool. Not terribly old. We'll take it. Hey guys, my first wheat here in the shard. It's the old one too. 1918. Alright, we'll take that one and we'll go on and see if we can get another one. Been slim pickings for me today. But we'll go on and see what else we can get. Hey guys, look at this. That's pretty cool, isn't it? It's an old time buckle. Pretty sweet. Alright, let's go on. Alright guys, I just popped this dude out. Looks like it might be an older weed. Nineteen sixteen. Alright, that's a good one. Let's go on. Hey guys, I am hunting with the Amphibio Multi today. Just going through what I'm doing. Hunting in five tone. Got my discrimination level up to about 22. Across the top bar there. And I've got my ground balance set at 64. And that's where I'm at right now. And... Just running on 70 on my gain, so. Alright, let's see what else we can get. Hey guys, I'm Jordan Mike back again. Just come back to you with a little cleanup here. And I'll tell you what, this is probably the first day in my whole metal detecting career I didn't dig very much stuff. One, two, three, four, five pennies is all I dug. One quarter and one dime. A few horse tack things up here. A piece of copper, old knife there. A few old cars and a semi old 
buckle, maybe. And then I had a really cool suspender clip. This is pretty neat. Didn't see any writing on it though. Seem to have writing. I did get a few good coins, not very many. Had a 1940 weed head. Nineteen sixteen S wheat. Nineteen fifteen Buffalo had a D stamp on it. It's got a good date on it though. Nineteen eighteen D. Nineteen ten. 1917 D uh, pretty much older wheat heads I did get a four leaf clover but it didn't bring me much luck today but I had a good day had a good time anyway I appreciate you coming along till next time this is Mike and I'm out